a wonderful opportunity. I usually see these three gentlemen in my office at the White House. They come to visit me with all of the work that we're doing together on our bilateral agenda as well as on our NATO agenda. And then, of course, Ben and I spend lots of time together in the Situation Room. Uh, but I have the privilege of having a conversation with you in front of a big audience instead of just uh, with our small staffs. Um, and uh, I thought I would give you an opportunity to speak about uh, how NATO membership has affected your countries, because I characterized it, but I think it would be very uh, interesting for our audience to hear what NATO sh membership has meant for your countries and how your security policies have evolved as a result of being members of NATO. So, Petra, do you want to start our ambassador from the Czech Republic? Well, thank you very much for having us here and for very giving us the opportunity. I think the uh, importance of NATO membership for the Czech Republic, and I uh, don't want to speak for our friends, but I would say that it is the same with uh, Wars and the Eastern European countries cannot be overestimated. It is basically the final tearing down of the Berlin Wall it's uh, not only uh, the security, but it's also a very much uh, civilizational issue. It's uh, definitely being uh, uh, in the same uh, civilization uh, uh, circle uh, to which we uh, always uh, belonged. And uh, as a result of the uh, results of the Second World War, we were not allowed to belong for long, uh, 40 years. And I wish to use this opportunity for thanking the U.S. Uh, because in 1999, it must have not have been easy for the United States, for its citizens, for its uh, political leaders uh, to open the doors for new members uh, coming from the old uh, uh, Soviet-led uh, empire, so to say, uh, for countries which uh, you may not have uh, known uh, very much about what its leadership is going uh, to say, how they will <coughs> act as um, allies, as partners, and uh, uh, if they would not sort of abuse uh, the, the most precious uh, uh, um, unanimity principle for their own purposes. I mean, the unanimity is such a precious think in NATO, but on the other hand, you may pretty much uh, imagine how it is uh, difficult to arrive to, yes. uh, to a consensus where everybody has a veto, and yet the U.S. was uh, prepared to uh, welcome the three in uh, 1999 and the others, uh, my friends, okay. in 2004 uh, to NATO, and I think the, we have proven that uh, it was a good decision. I would just say that we have many of the citizens of this community and some of our leaders to thank for these decisions that were taken. They were bold decisions. And today it was announced that President Obama will award Madeleine Albright the Medal of Freedom. And she was such an advocate for the membership of countries in Central and Eastern Europe and is playing a very significant role in, in outreach for the summit as well. So we have the communities here are to be appreciated. Um, to our ambassador from Lithuania, Žygis Kavioni. Would you like to speak next? Yes, and I would maybe like to continue this dialogue between Ben and, and, and you about all the new alliances. And you know, when I consider Lithuanian case, we are really very old friend of America. Uh, you know, some time ago, together with Poles, Jews, Belarusians, and Ukrainians, we had big empire back in Europe. And uh, by the end of 18th century, we've been uh, kind of infected by American virus of freedom. We established uh, uh, the first written constitution in Europe that was really free with all kind of liberties you had here. And in three years, we've been destroyed by three autocratic empires. And our generals, like uh, General Kosciuszko, he fled to America to fight for your freedom. So tomorrow, we will celebrate his contribution to American freedom in West Point that was established by my general. Uh, so our old story is quite old. And uh, then it was a period of suffering, <coughs> occupations, and the totalitarian regime who was sweeping my country back and forth. So for, for me, kind of answering to your question, uh, the membership in NATO is the end of all suffering. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and uh, where finally we've been able to create the life that we've been always trying to create back in Europe, all those stages. And I'm really grateful also for 
this city, because in this city I have, uh, well, half a million of Lithuanians, uh, and in America it's one-fourth of my nation who've been, uh, <laughs> who've been uh, working together to achieve that goal. I still remember President Reagan uh, marching in, in one of the uh, districts, Market Park, of, uh, full of Lithuanians with slogan, I love Lithuanians. Uh, so, you know, you helped us so much and we're back. And Adrian Vierita, our ambassador from Romania. Well, thank you so much, and uh, allow me to um, uh, continue. And um, uh, thank all of you for this, uh, I would say, excellent initiative. I'd like to congratulate uh, the, the Chicago Council. Uh, and I'd also like to um, give public recognition uh, to the um, Central European American communities in the United States and especially in Chicago. I'd like to salute the Romanian American community because they were staunch supporters of Romania joining NATO. And um, I really don't know, I mean, it's, uh, if, if this is uh, NATO membership, it's, it's the end of all suffering. It's, uh, it's a different kind of, um, uh, responsibility. Uh, but in Romania's case, uh, it was, um, and well, actually, I think I, I can agree with, with uh, both my colleagues and friends in, in, in Washington, um, from Washington, uh, that um, they also uh, spoke on, on, um, on my behalf and on our behalf. Uh, but it was like coming back to the family. And uh, it was a, the NATO membership aspiration was a catalyst for transforming my country, for transforming Romania, for transforming that part of Europe. And because uh, it was about values. And uh, last but not least, it was about the United States. Because without your help, we couldn't have done it. And that's why I would like to thank you, all of you, for your support. Very nice.